That's so cheap. Yeah. Let's get on to this bad boy. Well, hello, Chili Rocks here. So it is time for me to set up a new business, and that business is making beer. So this is Beer Factory. It's like one of those simulation games that I've played. So it reminds me of... Um, various different types of simulation games I've played where if you like the sort of thing of setting up uh, like a factory and doing all the manual work first and eventually you get to do the making the beer so I've had a little uh, little play of it got as far as building a shelf and throwing away some trash and that was it so let's see if we can actually get some beer making done today so we're gonna start a new game and we're gonna play it as normal because yeah there's a character that called Francis. Took me a while to work out actually how to kill him. Uh, well, not kill him. Let's say move him on. He's a resident of this new factory. So we're going to try and move into this factory. Encourage Francis to leave. And then we're going to start setting the factory up. And we are going to be making us some beer. So this is all just the introduction. Okay. And we've got a budget to build it. And then they're looking for some subsidies to keep us going right so we need to get in here i have one key like uh the one ring to rule them all i've got a key and it opens everything so let us get a, a cup of joe i have to pay for my own coffee though what sort of monstrous employee am i i have to pay for my well employer come on i need coffee if i drink this apparently i can run we need to get rid of rubbish as well. We will do that shortly. That's just going to go out there for now. Right, so first thing we need to do is get the electricity on. So there's a fuse missing from here. So let us get the fuse, which is in here. And now I'm a fully qualified electrician. I know what I'm doing. So we'll just stick that in there like that. And we have power. Okay, this is Francis. Now, we, we encourage Francis to leave by getting metal items or items and throwing them at him. So, Francis. Francis. Okay, that didn't really work. I need to need to hit him with... Uh, it's easier with bags of trash. So, there we go. All right, so I am ready for you. Come on, get some of that. Go away, Francis. Okay, I've got a, a new tuning part propane apparently i don't know who he is i think he comes back again just to annoy me now i've got rubbish to get rid of we will get rid of that in a bit first of all we need to open the doors so we'll open the main doors like this and start getting rid of some of me, me trash now so you throw the trash over there it goes in the bin or the skip Nice. I think this is all junk. I don't know what we do with all this just yet. We're gonna we're gonna just pile it up. I'm gonna empty the main room out first because I've got loads of stuff and I, I can't seem to do anything with this at the moment, so I'm assuming I need to clean all this out. We're going to make uh our life easier now by buying a broom. Not any old broom though. This is a twenty dollar broom. Look at it broom oh it's not a beauty doesn't that make you want to put it between your legs and run along and pretend you're harry potter now all right so i have i has broom once i pick it up we pick it up and let's get sweeping look at this it's like some broom off um what is cleaning channels jml it's like it's like, it's like a jml amazing broom all right so We've got the option to get the tool desk. Oh, look at these snacks. I still haven't got a clue what country this is based in. I'm assuming America. It look it looks like the set of friends, the houses. So I'm saying it's America. Right, I need to buy a, a tool desk anyway. So tool desk has various things which we need on it, including our toolbox, which we will be using shortly. Um, I just want to tidy up a little bit more, because... Ooh! I received a new tuning part, combustion. I don't know what that does, but I like the sound of it. Oh! 25 metres! I, I might go to the Olympics and 
<laughs> and sack all this making beer off. Anyway, I've got my toolbox now. So we need to open the build menu with tab, as it tells me at the bottom right. And we need to build a storage unit. I'm assuming because the doors are over that way, I need to build it there at the back of the factory. So we'll place it there. Press F to validate. And then we need to screw it in. So you walk up to it and do that. Screw on. Now this confused me at first. So if you just try and do it like, say like that, it's really hard. But if you angle it, pick the one you want, you can pretty much do it in one little sweep. So that is Shirley Rox's tip number one. Find the first support for your storage. I hope this isn't the stuff I've been throwing around. It is, isn't it? Okay. So these are the things I'm meant to be building with. Oh, didn't tell me that. Okay. Um, drop it. <laughs> it's all the stuff I've thrown away. There we go. Increase the reputation of the factory to level two. New tab menu available help menu. Um, oh, can we not clean the floor? So dirty. Oh, that's really going to upset me, that. That's the most basic kitchen. There's not even a sink. Is there not a sink? I was supposed to make my delicious pot noodles for lunch. What's that? A truck driving hat. I want it. I'm hoping this is going to inc increase my reputation. I can see my reputation is filling up. Yes. Okay. Good news. Good news. Subsidies. What does that mean? Okay. Oh, he did mention at the start of the game, the bit I skipped. I bought a factory and there's a machine in the back. I don't know what machine it means. I'm assuming it's something to do with making beer. Buy new extension. Okay, so we we need to buy an extension. How do I do that? Construction company. Machinery room. Okay, we'll buy that. $200. If it was that cheap to buy a fat beer factory, I think I would make one myself. Oh, here we go. Here's the extra room. Full of rubbish. And I've got a hose. Uh, we need to unlock a grain crusher now as well. Grain crusher. Seven and a half grand. Okay. Making, making beer is a bit more expensive than I thought it was. Look at the size of that, though. Oh, do you reckon I could climb in it and turn it on? Accept a contract using the computer. Okay, I, I am willing to do that. I do not understand what that means, but refine 30 sacks of raw malt grain for $762 dollar unis. So that's confirmation. This is an, in uh, America. We also need to order one pallet of raw malt sack. What? Um, I'd like... A pallet? How much is in a pallet? I can't have a clue. Uh, one? It was at this moment that he knew. one, maybe? He... Oh, this is a cool thing, this. Look, this is like a forklift truck, but like a manual one. So, there's the truck over there. Alright. Oh, I, I'm, I'm the worst at working in it. <laughs> I'd be getting told off my first day in the factory. So open the back doors of the truck and unload it. Okay, so we've got to position this behind here, I'm assuming. Drive up the little ramp. Oh, this is worse than driving. Uh, let's exit. Do I have to open the doors manually? What's that? Why have I got a remote control? Um, I think this is a lift, isn't it? So if we, if we drive this onto here... Right, and then press C. I think this is a control for the, for this bit. What are you doing? Uh, how do I make it go up? Q. Here we go. Okay, then we drive it. We get it under the pallet. We move the forks up, I'm guessing. Pump it up a bit. And I need to pump it up a bit more. Come on, pump it up. Okay, and we take this out. Let's keep pumping. Come on. Give me my stuff. Okay, and then I lift down. 
Come on, lift. We have to manually do the lift down. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> no this, this is all going horribly wrong. That's... Are you going to drive off now? I've not loaded... I've not pumped it up yet. Okay. We've sort we've sort of done it. Right, so we need to No no no. <laughs> First day Charles is getting sacked. Now we can load it. That was hard. I suppose it'll take me a while to get used to it. But I could have just damaged the grain, the precious grain. So I'm assuming I take the grain over here somehow. Um and then the grain... Does the grain go in that bit? Is that the loading bay? Let's uh, turn it on and see. So we need to power it on. Grab resource sack from the pallet, which is here. Oh, drop it. Oh, we drop it on this end. It's totally not the end. Oh, if this is animated now, I'm going to cry with enjoyment. Oh, it is. Look. There goes the grain. Um, okay, the grain's going up. Oh, listen to the SMR of that. Does that also crush? Um, clean the dirt under the grain crusher. How do I do that? Oh, clean here. Look, F. Okay. Refine one malt bag. Some tips on the grain crusher. Tab in the help menu. I think I need help. I don't have a clue. Right, cleaning. Yeah, we did that. Uh, grain crusher. So, we put the grain in. Yeah, we turned it on. Then we cleaned it. When it's filled with at least... Oh, we didn't do that. <laughs> We didn't do that bit. When the container is filled with at least one bag, use the lever to activate the crushing power. Inverse speed increases to converse. Okay, I didn't I didn't do any of that. To crush the bags of grain, simply place them on a conveyor belt. Oh, so page six says it does it automatically. And then that, that one says, when it's full, use that. Okay. What happens if I press that now? Refine grain. Do I have to hold it? Okay. I've got a refined bag of grain now, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. How much grain did it want? I need to check. I'm sure one bag's not going to be enough, is it? It wants me to buy a forklift truck now. Let's do upgrades. Um, industrial machinery, maybe? No. There we go. Forklift. $500? What? That's so cheap. Yeah. Let's get onto this bad boy. I'm assuming it's second hand. It's got rust all over it. Where's the car come from as well? Find the first fork. Uh, it's it's there. Oh no! Don't I? Have to, that's what the bits of metal are, isn't it? Okay. Do I just press G and drop it on it? Yes. So glad I didn't sell them bits. Right. Let's uh drive it now. Right. Export your first production. To do this, place your pallet in the trunk of the pickup. Right. Let's turn it on. Let's try the horn. Okay, the horn's not working. Come on. I need to press the horn. Why is the horn not working? Do I have to... Oh, it's got the beeping. Come on. Let's switch camera. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is easy. Ish. Right, so we need to pick this up again. It's green, so I think that means good at the bottom middle. Okay, that is definitely on. Now let's let's raise it. Oh yeah, that's got to be high enough. 
Okay, so now we need to load this into the back of the truck. So we need to come through the doors. And load it into that somehow. Oh, <laughs> we've done it. Right, let's turn the uh, engine off. Jump out again. Refined 30 sacks of raw malt grain. I've done one sack. It did say a full pallet, but it didn't tell me how much was in a full pallet. So let's do 29 then. So we've already done one. Uh, let's order. That said two pallets then, didn't it? I think I've ordered far too much again. When you see videos on the internet of people using these like a skateboard, it looks so easy. Yeah, it's not. Look. Have I got that stuck now? Uh, open doors. Oh my giddy ant. Look how much stuff there is. Okay. Um, I don't know how this is going to work. I'm just going to press Q until it sort of locks. Okay. That's definitely a full pallet. Okay, then I come out of that, and I do lift down. So much potential to crush myself. Right, we'll try this again then. Do we need to clean anything? I think we probably need to clean it as well. I think you have to, have to clean. Do you have to clean that after a run, or? These, these are like singular bags. This is going to take me a long time to do this. Let's hold it down. Does it do more than one bag at a time? It does, but it just dumps them on the floor. So how do I get all that loaded onto a thing? I must have to load them onto this. Let's see if I can just do it like this. <laughs> it's, pi <laughs> it's, pi it's piling up a little bit. Yeah, no, no one said it's it's easy mate, making beer. Some of it's going in, some of it's not going in. I need I need the pallet moving. Right, I've I've got some rogue bits of. <laughs> I've got my grain stuck. Whoa, are these sacks ever going to stop? That's got to be it. <laughs> right, that's it. Oh my, oh my, get the ants. There's so many. So what is that? One, two, three, four, five, so six. So it's going to be 12 for two layers. There must be an easy... Whoa, what's going on? I've grabbed the whole pallet. It's not really loaded on, is it, though, shells? That's... You're making a right mockery of this. Let's see if we can carry on loading the bags on. I'm trying to swing out the doors wide. I say car, it's a truck, isn't it? That poor driver's just waiting for me to <laughs> take take the stuff out the back still. Let's see how many how many have I done now? Uh contract. Right, we need to do six more. So there's six more apparently I need to do. Let's try and get the, the six more off the back of the truck then. We'll bring that up. Go to the truck. What the heck happened then? Why? Why? Why Why are you like that? I've, I've broken my forklift. Um, solve object location rotation. There you go. I'm not even lowering the lift. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna. Do I have to lower the lift? Health and safety out the window. Come on. If I actually put this here properly, like this. Do you know what? I've got an idea. If this works, I've just I've just wasted like half an hour doing this video. Right. So if I dump that there. Oh, it does. It works. I wasted so much time. I'm going to edit this down. But I wasted so much time doing this. 
This is obviously an important part of the day to keep me going. Come on, give me, give me coffee. Give me, give me, give me. Right, can we run again? Right, so, come on. Oh, I've left the engine on. I've left the engine on and now we've not got any fuel. <laughs> that is brilliant. So I'm going to try and load this manually into the back of the truck. I don't know if this will work. Yes, it worked. <laughs> right, I should now, once you've driven, driven off, I should be able to go and hand this in now. Let's go to contracts. Validate. We've done it. Ah, oh, so you need 30 sacks. And that, that took so long to do. I'm definitely going to cut this down. But <laughs> this is before we even get to actually make any alcohol. So next contract is coming up in a bit. Um, oh, find a bottle of gas. That's a milk pail. Or is it, ga is it gas? Refuel... Is this, how the, is this how you gas them up? We'll go around the back, maybe? Oh, I've done it, I think. Yeah, it's fully fueled up now. Okay, buy a slot for pallet. You need to, okay, so there's more for us to do. But, that will do for another day. I think this is a good little intro into the game before we actually get into making the beer so if you would like to see this as a series don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and let me know anyway this is beer factory i'm shirley rocks thank you for watching i'll see you next time